Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to get ready to trade on Binance US. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to head over to Binance.us, uh, the Binance US website. I'm going to hit login. I'm going to use my password manager to autofill that. All right, we're going to go over here. All right, and on our phone, we'll launch our Google Authenticator. And I'm going to scroll down to where I have the Binance US code there. So uh, 960534. This is our two-factor authentication. All right, and now we're on the Binance US website. Yeah. Uh, looks like uh, they've added a few coins since I started. So uh, they're just kind of gearing up, getting ready to trade. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my setup so that I can be all ready to go with fiat. So I'm gonna go over here to settings. All right, and then I'm, I've already done my basic verification, which was uh, just my name and address and my social number, and they uh, verified that there was a person by that name that hung out at those addresses. <laughs> I'm going to hit verify here and get going on the advanced verification. All right, so as you can see, I'm going to start with my address. Uh, I'm going to need a uh, bank account or utility bill, so I'm going to go over to my uh, utility company. All right, so uh, I've got a bill there. I'm going to choose view bill. All right, and as you can see, uh, this came up in uh, Adobe Acrobat, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Now you may, like I said, have a paper bill uh, for your uh, latest power bill or gas bill. Uh, I do most of my stuff online. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download this to my computer. I am going to put uh, an underscore in there just in case interface will not accept a space in my title. You have to be really careful with some of these sites so when you're submitting a picture or a file of any kind, uh, it's best not to have spaces in them. So I'm just gonna put that little underscore in there so it'll just be a one word file. I'll click save there. All right, and now I'm gonna go back over to Binance. I'm gonna do my select file. All right, and it'll be that September bill. I'll click open. All right, and as you can see, it came in there all right. All right, that's what I'm looking for. It's got my name on it and my current address. All right, so I'm gonna hit next. Go ahead and put in my phone number. I'll hit that send SMS. It's gonna confirm my phone number by giving me a text. All right, there it is. All righty, and I'll just put that number in there. And hit next. We'll get the phone out of the way. All right, now it wants me to choose an ID. I'm gonna choose my driver's license. Um, I think I'll do upload file. In the case of take the photo, you'll need to hold your photo up to your webcam. And uh, for some people that works just fine. Uh, for me, it can be a little problematic because I have uh, malware and antivirus software which uh, prevents my camera. Uh, so uh, things get a little uh, funky when I try to uh, <laughs> enable access. So what I did was uh, I scanned my driver's license front and back and hopefully it's uh, this is gonna work. All right, so I'm gonna drop the front on there. Hopefully that's gonna work out for me. Ah, now once the back, so I'm gonna drop my back photo on there. That's looking pretty good. All right, I'll hit confirm there. And then it wants an image of my face. I'm not going to use uh, a picture of me with glasses. So uh, I've got a decent picture of myself without glasses. I'm going to drop that over here. All right, that's acceptable. Whole face is visible. I'm in focus. I'm going to hit complete. All right, now it's gonna check everything to make sure I submitted everything properly. All right, so it looks like my information was submitted uh, successfully. Uh, hopefully I won't have any trouble. I'm just gonna wait for the confirmation. 
Okay, so uh, they said that they are pleased to inform me I've passed my advanced uh, identity verification. I may now proceed to complete the address verification by logging back into my Binance account. All right, so now that I've got the advanced verification completed, uh, I can go ahead and do the fiat account verification. I want to be able to connect my bank account to my US, my Binance US account so that I can trade, right? So that I can send in fiat money uh, to make trades. I, in the previous video, I showed you how to deposit Bitcoin into your account, but that may not always be what you want, right? There might be times where you've got, uh, you just got paid and you wanna put a little money into crypto uh, and you wanna just transfer some money directly into this account from your bank. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, fiat account verification. All this personal information is correct. So I'm just gonna click next here. All right, and then we're gonna answer these questions here. All right, so I'm gonna click this authorization. I'll hit submit. All right, Prime Trust will review my application and get back to me shortly. And then it says here, uh, pending verification. All right, and I just got an email that the fiat account verification was successful. Go back over here to the account. We'll just refresh. All right, so now I've got the fiat, ver uh, fiat account verification done. Let's uh, connect the bank account. We'll hit manage. Uh, we're going to link a new account. Uh, let's do ACH. Okay, so check and double check your info, hit next. All right, uh, looks like the account was added. Let me make a fiat deposit. And let's see if it will allow me to use a small amount. Let's do uh, that bank account there, we'll hit continue. All right, uh, I've got all the info in there, I'll hit confirm. Oh, there we go. So uh, the money got in there successfully. We're all good with that. Pretty happy about that. So I can go over here to deposit and withdrawal history and I can look at that uh, US dollar $50 with, uh, deposit in my Binance account. So we're all good, we're ready to trade. Now you might wanna put in more than $50, uh, but I was just doing a small uh, transaction there so that I could confirm that everything was working fine. Best of luck to all of you guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.